So this is definitely a different collaboration for Palace. You know, I did not see this coming. I'm just used to seeing Palace do the Reebok collaborations, the Adidas collaborations. But, you know, I think Palace has kind of been switching it up lately. And maybe you can credit that to how they're kind of dropping in popularity a little bit. Or, you know, the tides are shifting for Palace a little bit, it seems. And I kind of feel like they've been doing or branching out a little bit more again a little bit out of their comfort zone maybe um but yeah I, th I think they've been doing some cool collaborations we had the visu collaboration two weeks ago i want to say now we have a collaboration with anarchic 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 adjustment <laughs> like the name says this brand is all about anarchy they're a little rough around the edges a little grunge uh, i want to say they established themselves in 1986 if i'm remembering correctly uh, i might be off a couple years but they've been around for a minute for sure and browsing through their website i noticed a couple interesting things uh, they did have a t-shirt released uh, currently or in stock that was for $48. So expect the price points to be similar to that of Palace since they're around that same price as well. Um, they also had vintage pieces uh, listed on there and they were for like $1,000, like $1,500. I think the most expensive one is like $5,000 for one of their vintage t-shirts, which I thought was wild. But also another cool thing I noticed was they had an Akira t-shirt or Akira, however you guys... Uh, I want to be sticklers about it the pronunciation but I found it particularly interesting because it was one of the same exact graphics that Supreme used of Tetsuo swallowing a pill I believe and he's got like a little speech bubble he's kind of like looking up a little bit if you guys recall that graphic anyway I feel like this kind of points out that they have like a good sense of the culture or maybe they're like a little bit ahead of their time I think they definitely had some cool designs they have this one of a hand that kind of reminds me or you know, it's obviously different, but it's a little bit reminiscent of the Revenge Kill uh, hoodie, kill graphic, all that stuff where they use XXX Tentacion's hand, the back of the hand, it says kill on it. But uh, I think, you know, I got some similar vibes from that. Obviously, it's a lot different, but we will see that graphic on some of the palace pieces for this collaboration. So with that being said, let's look at the pieces. So to start things off, you have four different hoodies, uh, two different graphics, and then uh, each of them has two of the same colorways. Uh, first off, you have this forced green one, which uh, on the hood it says you cannot shake your hand with a clenched fist. And then down below, of course, you have the open hand and it says humanity down on the bottom. Flop that around. You have a A with a circle around it, half filled, kind of like resembling an abstract horizon. And then on the bottom right, you have a P. I'm guessing, you know, one's for anarchic adjustment and then the other one's for palace, of course. Um, and then on the sleeve, you have uh, anarchic, and then on the bottom it says palace, and then the A's for both words have the anarchy A logo that is very popular nowadays, plastered everywhere. Which I will say, I'm just I've never been a fan of that anarchy logo. I just think it kind of looks like a little tacky or something. Um, I think V for Vendetta they used it, which a lot of people um, kind of popularized it from that. But yeah. Anyway, that is the first hoodie design, and then you also have this one that implements barbed wire, which I think looks really cool, especially how they have it wrapped around the neck. I think that's a really um, interesting placement for it, but you have uh, anarchic adjustment wrapped around, and it also says something else along uh, on the left side. I'm not sure what the first word is, but anyway, once again, you have the a on one side the p on the other side and then the nice little branding of both brands same as before uh, basically the only different thing is the barbed wire which i think looks look, i think it looks cool but unfortunately it doesn't wrap all the way around i feel like it would have looked cooler if it wrapped all the way around maybe it would have been a little uh difficult to make it like a nice circle just with how the hoodies lay and the uh piecing together of the fabrics but i'm not sure but Anyway, on the back you have an and sign made out of barbed wire, so at least they have the continuity of the barbed wire there. And then on the top you have palace spelt out across on the back of the hood, and I believe they've done this spell out before. This design is alright. Personally, I would have liked if they would have just combined both the hoodies into one and used the barbed wire from the front on this one and the hand on the back of the previous one. Along with the, the the phrase on the hood, I think the phrase on the hood on that first one's cool. So I like the back of the first one and then the front of the second one. And then like the opposite of the vice versa. I don't really care for the front on the first one as much. Front on the first one's all right. And then the back on the second one is like, I feel like it could have been done a little bit better. Maybe it would have been cool to see a uh, barbed wire triferg. That might have been interesting. 
Moving on, we have four different long sleeves, just like before we have two different designs and both of them have a neon green colorway, which I'm not crazy about, and then a black colorway. So to start off, the neon green colorway follows the same style with that barbed wire around the neck and then along the sleeves, you also have some barbed wire just kind of like wrapping down. Also important to note, down on the bottom, there is some palace branding, just a regular logo on the side that goes around. And uh, at least on this colorway, it is neon orange. So I assume this is the back of the same one, but in the black colorway, you have a portrait framed in barbed wire and it says hypocrisy. And uh, it kind of looks like uh, two different faces superimposed. One is facing the camera, they have their mouth. Uh, like their teeth kind of gr uh, gritting, gritting, grinding against each other. And the other one is somebody giving you a side eye. I think this one's all right. Personally, I, I'm not a huge fan of the barbed wire going down the sleeves. I feel like it works a lot better here. And then uh, I feel like the, down the sleeves is just a little bit overkill at this point. Could have put something else maybe there or just nothing at all. So the next design we have, I feel like is centered completely around the Anarchy A logo. You got the big Anarchy logo on the back and then you have Palace. The anarchy a on it some anarchic adjustment branding and it's all kind of done in this graffiti rough uh, gritty uh, style that you know unrefined and then it's on this neon green colorway which i feel like kind of clashes the very bright colorway the high res colorway is more of like a safety resemblance you know not necessarily that that's what has to be seen as but i just feel like this colorway uh doesn't support that like grittiness or unrefined um, style as well as maybe like a different color could have anyway on the front of that design or what i believe is the front of that design i could be wrong about the front and back of these but uh this is just how they're displaying it on palace's website you have that barbed wire and sign and you got the anarchy logo for anarchic adjustment and then the palace p so you know it's like indicating the cloud i don't have to explain this and then the sleeves i believe it says london counterculture so it's kind of cool you know both brands based in london um it's kind of cool to see them collaborating with uh this brand uh especially like you know this is so out of the blue and actually i also looked at uh anarchic adjustments instagram and when i first checked they had like 800 followers and i was like that's crazy so i looked and they've been active for like seven years their first post was like seven years ago so it's crazy that their instagram account's so small but it's also funny because when i went back to look at it again later they gained like 500 followers so there's just all these people coming over from palace and checking it out so um kind of interesting something that i noticed moving on we have four different t-shirts the first one shown off on the front in this neon green colorway says humanity and then palace kind of laid over each other superimposed and uh both letters uh both words make use of the second a in palace so they kind of share this bond but uh, i don't think i'm not crazy about this one um, on the back you have the hand the palm palm face and hand kind of cool But uh, once again, I'm just not crazy about the front of that t-shirt next up You have a little bit more interesting of a design I feel like that first one was kind of lacking especially compared to a lot of the other pieces. They have so much going on um, But I guess you know, it's kind of nice to throw in a little bit more subtle piece or quiet piece Anyway, this one has a slightly transparent triferg on the back and then you also have some photos which almost look like x-rays or something i'll have to look closer on each side and then flopping over on the front down around your uh, like belly button area you have the anarchic adjustment branding and it does look like those photos are not x-rays actually just like portraits in a very uh rough display or kind of like aged or gritty grimy and once again they're following this like style this grunge style and it's hard to make out what each of them says uh one says true uh, something and permitted the other says nothing and everything it's hard to make out what the, what's said because they are wrapped on the side so we don't have a good view of everything but um i like this t-shirt more than the previous one but that being said i'm not crazy about any of the t-shirts i do like that uh first long sleeve we looked at i guess with the barbed wire wrapped around the neck i, I like that idea but I'm, I'm not crazy about the barbed wire around, uh, <laughs> but i'm not crazy about the barbed wire down the sleeves so i guess my favorite piece is probably that sweatshirt that has the barbed wire on the front but you know that being said i like both the sweatshirts but favorite's probably the barbed wire on the front one because i think the, i think that's a cool 
um, design, very creative. You know, we've seen Palace do some kind of uh, lackluster collaborations, a lot of their stuff with Adidas and Reebok. I'm not sure if they just don't get a whole lot of creative freedom or, um, you know, Palace is kind of one of these more subtle brands where they won't do a lot of crazy things. Like usually they'll switch up with like materials or uh, like, you know, just focus on making the garment a little bit better some cut and sew and stuff like that rather than having these just bizarre graphics but you know i think a lot of their designs in this one are really cool and uh i think that's a cool collaboration uh, it's cool to see palace collaborating with these people but yeah let me know what you guys think of the collaboration um if i didn't say this is releasing this friday april 24th at 11 a.m eastern standard time i think it's the 24th it should be but yeah let me know what you guys think of it are you gonna cop anything uh the supreme Takashi Mirakami box logo for COVID-19 is also dropping at the same time. So if you are going for this collaboration and it is hyped, you know, might be a little bit easy to cop. But that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.